First thoughts for me is I, I just audibly went, fuck. And then I thought Agent Luba just did really good job here. And, and she gets dragged. Everyone kind of in the Bauer camp gets dragged a little bit because they present themselves and allow themselves to be hated. But this is a huge deal. This is like everything Bauer wanted, he gets. He gets the highest pitcher from AAV. His college rival, Garrett Cole, said it last year. And I bet you getting higher than what Garrett Cole, which was 37 a year, was a priority for him. I really do. He wants to be the highest paid pitcher. He gets the opt out after year one. He gets a ton of fucking money. And he's on a contender that just won the World Series in his hometown. Literally, Trevor Bauer got every single thing he wanted in this deal and i'm impressed by that you know what i'm really jealous of padres and dodgers fans relations for the next three to five years that is going to be what red sox yankees was from 2000 to 2005 height of the rivalry i mean dodgers may just stomp them on the field but the pot or the padres might win it's going to be very fun but the dynamic, the anger, 14-year-olds are going to get in fights in, in <laughs> high school hallways. Like that, that feeling is what I had when I was in high school when it was like, you know, A-Rod slapping Aurora and um, 2003, 2004. That was when I was like freshman, sophomore in high school. That shit was fun. I'm it's super jealous. I'm super jealous. I hope jealous. it becomes that. I hope it becomes that because obviously the Dodgers' natural rival is the Giants, and they've kind of, you know, obviously they're not, they're not the Padres. I still yeah. think that rival will be really good. The Dodgers have won the ti the division titles, and the Giants had the World Series. Now the Dodgers finally get the ring, so that's awesome for them. But I can't wait for this this these matchups we're gonna see. I don't think they were like as annoying as people made them out to be. I mean, I was pretty much ingesting most of their content. You know, we're friendly, we do stuff. I've been on their podcast. I, I think they handled it perfectly, man. And they're giving other guys platforms too. Like if you if you're not liking it, don't watch it. But they're promoting the game of baseball. They're growing it. This was great. I really wish. I really wish. Not a Super Bowl commercial, Jim. I really wish they would have said halftime Super Bowl. I'm announcing. As a player, you're always told, go out and do it for the people behind you. He set moved. He set the market high and i think a lot of the players even if you don't like what he does you got to applaud that and as the teams the teams have gone away from those long long-term deals we know that they don't like them we see what miguel cabrera's owed and pujols and how these things turn out towards the end of that contract so the teams countered that by not signing those long-term deals and by basically trying to lock all the young guys up early because if they hit on a few of those guys, that was key. That could that gave them financial flexibility. This is a genius deal for players moving forward. Take that big money up front. The the team wants that. You want that. This is this counters that and and maybe moves us forward where we were maybe at a stalemate with contracts. I think this this has moved us forward. I think. The whole team needs to be applauded. I know we've said it a couple of different times now, but um, I think they did a great job.